Okay, we're gonna get started on our July Club Q. And this is going to be a quick and simple video because this layout has um, some gorgeous, gorgeous, bright summer colors, but it's very simple to put together. Um, just matching up the die cuts and most things are already cut for you. Um, but what I did is just punch out all the die cuts and I started matching things up. So go ahead and do that. And I'm going to give you the suggestions for chalk inks. And there's actually a lot of colors that will match this. So you just grab from your stash what works for you. Uh, but we suggest Mango Mai Tai, Deep Sea, and Navy. Uh, there's also, if you want to have a, um, a little more purple, you could use Purple Dahlia, which is kind of a bright purple. There's Purple Passion. Um, you could use lighter purples like Lovely Lilac. Uh, if you want to bring more of the yellows out, you could use Dandelion or Summer Days. If you like the pinks in this, you could use maybe like wildflowers or um, what are some of the other ones? Bubblegum. Bubblegum would match this really nicely. Um, I know a few of those might be discontinued, but you may have them in your stash. So you grab what works for you. And if you want to pause and punch everything out and just line it up, up with the backers for everything. That's what I kind of got started here. And I'm going to grab some glue and start gluing mine together. Once you're done with that, we will get started on the cutting. And there's very little cutting in this one, which is nice. We'll take these, I think it's three and a half by 12 inch papers, and we're just going to cut them in half. So at six inches on all these. So when you're done punching things out, and I am going to grab a glue and get my die cuts glued together. Forgot to bring it to my seat. So we use this Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, which is on our website. Um, there are refills that are like this, and this will last you a very long time. But we love this glue because it's um, very precise. There's a precision tip on there, and it actually comes with three different tips. I don't use the other tips very often, um, but this one I love specifically for some of these smaller die cuts and more intricate die cuts. And you don't need a lot. You can see I just put a little bit here and there around the edges. You line that up and you have a couple seconds to kind of scoot it around, but then it dries permanent and does not move. So go ahead and uh, get your die cuts layered up. But as you can see, you use very little of this glue so that refill, if you were to get the refill, um, will last you a very long time. I think this initial pack with the three tips um, is somewhere around $9.99. And the refill, I think, is around $17. But it's a great investment because it lasts a long time. Especially when you just need a few dots here and there. And with all the powder puff chalking colors that I mentioned, if you want to chalk these up before they even go on your page, you can go ahead and do that. There's lots of colors that would work for this. Actually, I am gonna chalk this one up before I lay it down. I grabbed a purple here, I gotta open it. This one is Purple Dahlia, so this one's kind of a bright purple. I'm gonna go around the edge of this. And you can do it once it's on the backer if you want to, too. It just makes that white um, 
chalked up. So if you like the purples, this purple dahlia looks really beautiful on this bluish purple paper. So I'll show you here, that's chalking it up before you glue it together. And then this one I will do after, and you can see it just has a little bit of a different look because it covers up some of that white. But totally up to you, however you want to do it. And on this one, let's see what yellow I have here. Actually, I'm going to use Sunset on this. I'm going to add a little orange to it. Just around the outside. This is a brand new ink, so it's really juicy. I actually like my inks after six months or so when it starts drying out a little. It looks even chalkier. But it's always nice to open a fresh new ink also. Okay, so I added a little sunset to that. Just to add some extra color. Not that this layout doesn't have enough color. There's lots of colors in this one. This one, I'm actually gonna do the orange before I even get it on there, make it a little darker orange. I hope you've been able to take a vacation this summer that is perfect for this layout or even just a day at the water staycation. I have the perfect pictures for it. I just need to actually print them and get them on the page. Making the page is the easier part. Adding the pictures, not so much. I tend to make pages and then as, as Patsy always says, in 10 years when you get back to actually put pictures on your page, it'll be ready to go. <laughs> okay, so I have these all lined up and you can see on the samples here, we have a brad in each of the flip-flops that have the white top, a brad in the wheel here, and two brads in the flip-flops here. So you can go ahead and do that. Once we get these on, we'll do the cutting diagrams for which is very minimal for this one. We're just cutting those three pieces apart. So your little brads should be in a bag like this. We try to keep them all together nice and organized for you. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of color to this one. Let me find the blue. I kinda like this one. This one is Blue Lotus. So this is in our new Powder Puff pack. I'm just going to go a little bit around the outside. It's a really pretty turquoise color. Brightens it up just a little bit. Or you can stay with that light blue and use something just a little bit softer. There is um, the taffy color we have. Works really well with that light blue also. Go ahead and add your brads. We actually, our family vacation this year was actually to Colorado, so there wasn't any beach pictures that we have for this, but we do live about an hour and just a little bit over an hour from 
the beach here so we can get some beach pictures. But if you don't have beach pictures, any kind of summery lake pictures would go well with this. Or even at the pool. Okay, once you have those in, we are gonna do some cutting. I just want to mention too, um, if you have not checked out our three-day events, those are coming up in September. Um, if you like our kits, why isn't this working? There we go. Uh, if you like our kits, you will love the events that we do. Um, we have one in Palm Springs, California. We have one in Grand Mound, Washington at the Great Wolf Lodge, which is our home state. So that's close to our warehouse. If you come to that one, um, come see our warehouse. Uh, and we also have one in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, if you don't live anywhere close to any of those three in-person three-day events, we also do it online in November. And it's $3.49 for the event, but you get a huge event package with lots of prizes, giveaways, nine classes, an album, mini projects, um, make and takes, armloads of giveaways. It's well worth your money. Um, so check it out on our website, shopquickbolts.com, and come join us. We have so much fun at those events. Okay. So we are going to work on both pages together here because these are really pretty simple to put together now that we have our embellishments layered. Uh, the only other cutting you'll need to do is the fussy cutting for the words and the strips here to go onto your page. I cut these out as well and have those ready. So at any time you can pause and put uh, and catch up if you need to. Need to trim that stuff out. Okay, this on the right side, it goes centered. And you can do about, it doesn't have to be exact for sure. So I'm doing right in the middle, which means there should be about two and a half inches, two and a half inches. Um, and you can move it up and down as you would like. This one is about an inch and a half from the right side of the page. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I forgot to do my our cutting. I've talked about it twice now here. I'm bringing this back in. Start chatting about other things. Okay, so you have three strips of paper like this. We're just cutting them all in half. And I'm gonna do mine all at the same time. So you cut it at six. There we go. Then your cutting is done. I'm going to chalk these up. Where did my, so I'm gonna use Sunset on this yellow one. You can also use one of the yellows like dandelion or something like that if you just want to brighten up the edges with yellow. I just do a little bit more around the corners. And I'm not going to glue these down yet just so I know that I have them in place where I want them. You can go ahead and glue down the white pieces of paper. And then I'm just gonna line these up so that I know that I have them spaced correctly and right where I want them. This one I'm gonna use purple around the edge. Because depending on how you look at this paper, sometimes it looks royal blue, sometimes it looks purplish. So you choose the color that you wanna bring out more. I'm doing purple, but any of the blues would work. 
also deep sea, navy. And if you get kind of messy like I just did there, your photo is gonna cover up most of that anyway, so don't even worry. And then I'm gonna use, actually, you know what? I have sitting here, this is called manzanita, so it's kind of a reddish brown. I'm gonna use that around the orange. Make it look a little more reddish colored. And really, any color would match this because you can see here, Every color of the rainbow is throughout here. So you just choose what you like. We're always amazed um, on some of our live events that we do on our um, Facebook page, our live Facebook page, our live Facebook events. Uh, we do one a quarter and we do a full day of classes. Um, but there's always people that suggest different inks than we have on our suggestion list. and. It's something we probably would have never even thought to use, and then it looks beautiful. So I love that people give the different colors a try. Sometimes it's exactly what the page needs. Okay, and then once you have these spaced the way that you like them, you can go ahead and glue them down. Just remember, you want space for one of the strips to go down here, centered. One of the strips goes across here. So you just decide how much space you want to have there. And summer days are the best days. And then we're just going to start layering these up. So I'm going to do it just like we have on our sample on the page, or on the instructions. But you go ahead and put them wherever you would like. And if you don't have pictures in here yet, just make sure that you don't glue anything down like this. Oops, let's see. I don't think it matters which one, but this beach ball kind of goes over here. So if you are going to put that down without a picture, just make sure you only put glue on this part of it so that you can still slide your picture underneath there. And you spread these out however it works for you. If you wanna move them up, down, this is your page. You do what works for your pictures. I'm just kind of going off of what we have on our instruction sheet. I have this kind of tucked under. It's up to you. If there's one of the embellishments that you want to stand out more, you move it around where it works for you. These are the last ones. And see how simple that is? I just love this page. Oh, and you know what? Before I glued that down, I forgot to put my little strips on. It looks, so I would peel this up. It looks like there's just one on the right page. And I hopefully didn't get this glued down, hopefully. One over here, and it just kind of gets centered. And if you did already glue that down, this part you can barely see, so you can just cut this off and just use it down this right here, because most of this right here is covered anyway. And we're done. I hope you like the bright colors of this kit, and I hope you're having a great summer finding some pictures or creating some memories to put in these layouts. And we appreciate you being a Club Q. Club Q member, and we will see you next time.